All right, YouTube, uh, Massey 1105 driver here. Uh, it's been a little while since I've posted anything, and uh, I'm not going to make a video of the ground here. I'm standing in front of something that I recently purchased, uh, and today is the 21st of October. It's Sunday, and yesterday I went to an auction, and I came home with, bam, an 11 1155 Massey Ferguson tractor. So, it's it. Uh, it was a deal I couldn't turn down, so I went ahead and got it. Uh, it's not like I need it, but it's one of them things that, for the right price, just something that I kind of always wanted or have wanted for a while. So, it's not the prettiest one, but it is functional. Um, I had to put some batteries in it to get it home, but a couple batteries and a shot of ether this morning and we were off and running uh, it was like 36 this morning that's wide and wasn't anywhere near where it could be plugged in but so anyhow this is what i came home with it came with the duels that stack is not factory there's actually a hole up in the hood uh that was kind of jimmied around by the not the previous owner but the owner before them did that I guess from what I was told but it'll be put back to original one of these days um, I know the tax says 5600 hours on it but I don't know if that's accurate or not uh, but it runs and sounds good see there 5606 hours is what the tax says but I don't know if it works or not the the needle moves, but I don't know if the tack part or the hours part of it works, but anyhow, let's, I had to run it a little bit ago. Uh, well, I had to run in this morning when I brought it home, but I had it running here a little bit ago. So let's, let's start it up so you can hear what it sounds like. It's got a nice little rumble to her. You see the hole in the hood, that's where the, the exhaust is supposed to come out. They come, the pipes come off each side, meet there underneath the hood, and then come up through to the to the muffler. But I say they they revamped it the couple owners before. It needs some work, but it uh, I think it'll be a good one eventually. Uh, it needs a paint job and stuff like that, but I'd rather focus on the functionality of it, get the important stuff working, and then worry about then worry about uh, making it look nice. You see, it's a three-speed transmission with the multi power, just like my 1105. Uh, except this multi power, it does work, but not through the levers. See how them both those levers move at the same time, that's not right. And what they did is they jacked around, they'll shut it off here. Somebody, the PTO doesn't work right, which doesn't really bother me because I don't intend to do much with the PTO anyhow. But I noticed in here, there's a linkage here. This is the multi-power uh, port of this box. And it's hooked to this linkage, but that linkage they had a thing coming down, going through that hole, and it went down there and hooks to some apparatus that goes clear back to the PTO. There's a shutoff lever on these on the back for the PTO. I'll show you here on the Masseys. If you didn't know, you can disengage your PTO right here. You pull that out. I think it disengages it, you push it in, it engages it. And then this here is your three point. You can close that port and your cylinders will stay up, your arms. See, they're in the up position. For, for like, uh, if you're driving down the road with a, say, a mounted plow, and you're traveling miles, you could lock that up to keep it up in the air so it wouldn't drift on you. But anyhow, they have that rigged up. There's, you can actually see the rod on there, maybe. They got this bolt going through there all the way up 
Uh, it was just kind of jimmy rigged to make the PTO work, which is not recommended or safe, really. It's not safe for the machine. It'll wear things out very quick. But anyhow, I just need, they got half the linkage in here. The other part, they welded a rod on it, but that just needs hooked up and redone. But the multi-power does work as far as I know. I didn't realize it until I got home because I drove home with it in low and uh, I, pull, I, I just happened to glance in there. I wondered why all this stuff was off and that's why because they had it probably was just reaching in there by hand and run the multi-power which is dumb but anyhow I don't know if the hydraulics work yet or not I'm assuming they do but it's got dual hydraulics uh, but yeah it's got the Perkins V8 in it I forget how many cubic inch it is, but from factory it's like 140 horse, 141 supposedly, and like 119 on the draw bar. 140 is PTO, but it's basically an 1105. The only difference is that engine. Everything else, 1105, 1135, 1155 are all the same tractor, except the 55 has the bigger engine. Tires, it's got the 20.8, 38s like my 1105. Um, and the fronts are 1116s, that's the same. But this one rear tire is going to need some attention. If you can see down in there, quite a bit of rust. That's getting really rough. I don't know if that rim will need replaced or what, but then that tire's squatting good. It, I'm assuming there's fluid in them. It's probably calcium. That's why that rim's the way it is. And this thing sat a while. I, uh, I believe that the previous owner bought it, oh man, probably close to 10 years ago, but it hasn't really been used much that whole 10 years. I bet they didn't put 500 hours on it in 10 years and probably hardly any hours in the last three or four years. But So anyhow, it'll be a project tractor. Uh, I probably won't use it much this fall because, uh, you know, I... Not knowing it, I don't want to put myself in a position to hurt anything, anyone or anything. So before it's gone over good, it probably won't do much. So, But it'll basically be, in the fall, it'll be a good wagon puller with that cab on it. I'm not, I've, I'm not used to the cab. I don't have, I've never had a cab tractor, so I'll probably get spoiled in that real quick. But anywho... That's pretty much it. Like I say, it's not much to look at yet, but someday it'll someday it'll shine, hopefully. So anyhow, I have been doing some harvesting and I did make a video, but I'm having trouble uploading the dumb thing to YouTube. And it's because of the my camera glasses. Uh depending on how long I make a video, I have trouble uploading. And it was like 16 minutes, and I tried to split it in half and upload or airdrop each half to my iPad to upload, and it's giving me fits. And then I tried to upload the whole video on the computer, and that gave me fits. So someday I'll have a harvest video. Uh, it may not be till next year, but who knows. But anyhow, I'll have lots more harvest to come. Hopefully, we get on to some beans this week, and uh, I'll try and do some stuff. So. Anyhow, that's going to do it for now. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you guys soon.